if it's morning when you're watching this. It's morning, well, kind of morning when I'm filming it. It's 11.30 right now. I've literally done nothing all day. I have been getting super late starts to my day. I think the reason for that being is that all my classes are online. So basically, like, I'll set an alarm to wake up at 8 a.m. And then when I wake up at 8 a.m., I'm like, I literally have no reason to be up because I have nowhere to be today. I do think it's probably affected my productivity a little bit. But that's okay. Hopefully in the next few days we can work on that. Just wanted to say welcome. Um, this video obviously is a vlog. That's it. I was gonna do a different type of video, like a more focused video where I don't talk about myself. Like I'll talk about other things, like a haul for example. But I figured I haven't really just like talked to the camera, you know, one on one. Um, I thought I might as well, you know, update you on my life a little bit. This is like a community check-in vlog, you know, like how am I doing? How are you doing? Let me know. We're just all here, you know, take some deep breaths and enjoy the ride of me showing you what my life is like for a couple of days. So I got ready-ish. I mean, I'll show you my outfit in a second, but like literally it's just athletic shorts. For some reason, I just don't have summer clothes. Like literally the only summer clothes I have that aren't athletic shorts are overalls. But the plan for today is I have a lot of work I need to do. I've been kind of bad about like getting it done. I've been on top of it. Like I'm getting work done every single day, but I don't think I'm getting enough done if that makes sense. So I am about to go to a coffee shop to work outside for a couple hours just to get some school work done. I find that when you separate your spaces, you know, like you actually leave your house or your apartment or your room to go get work done, you're a lot more productive because if I were to sit on this couch all day and do schoolwork, I would A, be sad and B, probably just scroll on TikTok instead. Also, it's just a nice excuse to be able to get out of the house and like, you know, be outdoors, fresh air. That's basically the plan for today. I also invited my friend and she said she would come. So that'll be fun as well. I have some microeconomics to do. I have a psychology quiz. Uh, really fun and exciting stuff. The most exciting and fun I've ever had, actually, will probably be had today. That's basically it. Do you want me to show you my just disgusting outfit? <laughs> I mean, it's really not that disgusting, but like, I just don't have summer clothes. All I have is pants and then like athletic shorts. So basically athletic shorts is all I wear in the summer. Um, with big t-shirts. I am truly a fashion icon. Also, this coffee shop I'm going to, there's a lot of hot men that all look like their favorite album is Flower Boy by Tyler, the Creator. So, um, that should be interesting. They're all very intimidating to me. I don't know why scrawny skater boys are intimidating. They just are. So, I might meet my soulmate today. So hot in my car. It's currently 3.30. I was there for what? Like, I don't know. I'm so hungry. I like don't even want to do the math. For now, I'm going to drive home and take a little break and then probably do some more homework because I have a couple things that I want to get done by the weekend so then I'm not stressed out on the weekend. You know, I can use the time to relax a little bit. I was at Muchacho, if you're familiar with Atlanta. Uh, they have literally the best patio in all of Atlanta if you need to get work done. So there's a little recommendation for you. It's really hot and my bladder is probably going to explode at any second. So um, see when I get home. Okay, I'm back. I got a little maybe heat exhausted because 
I was very tired and dizzy and I also hadn't eaten all day So like, you know low blood sugar all that stuff I'm coming on here to put you on to literally the best meal I've ever cooked heated up my old enchiladas These are literally the best enchiladas I've ever had and quite possibly the most delicious thing I have ever cooked They're actually vegan and gluten-free enchiladas um, it's made with almond flour tortillas and then the filling is sweet potato. It's kind of ugly, but there's also cheese on top, which is not vegan cheese because I think vegan cheese is disgusting. So these would be vegan if I use fake cheese, but I didn't. Please make this. Like I literally just came on here to tell you to please make this enchilada recipe. You can literally eat the whole dish of enchiladas of this recipe in like one sitting. That's how good it is. I got the recipe from Maddie Bragg actually who was a YouTuber I used to be obsessed with in like 2014. She kind of like left YouTube and she came back and she posts recipe videos. She posted this video of her making these vegan sweet potato enchiladas and I made them and they're they are phenomenal. So if you like sweet potatoes, definitely try these out. I'll link down below the video where she like shows you how to make them. That's it, just make them. Hello everybody. Um, it has been a while. <laughs> it's currently 8.45 and I got home at like four. For four hours, I basically evenly split my time between aimlessly scrolling on TikTok and trying to do homework. I ended up doing most of the stuff that I needed to do, like a quiz on supply and demand and like, you know, some other stuff, but I'm just not gonna do it today. And I'm probably gonna have a breakdown on Sunday, like I always do, but I don't care. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I just like am not feeling motivated at all today. I feel like for the most part, usually I'm a pretty motivated person. You know, like I cook every meal, I clean up after myself, you know, habits like that. Uh, today I'm just feeling like um, going to bed at 9 p.m. I don't know why, I just feel like blah, very lethargic. Should we sit down and have a chat? Cause the lighting actually looks cool. Oh my God, I'm in euphoria right now. <laughs> wow, this is actually really cool, 824. Call me, I can produce a film for you. I wanted to talk about something that I dealt with really badly last week. And it is so crazy because I feel like collectively everybody's dealing with this. Last week, specifically on Sunday, I was literally so anxious. I do not know why. Usually I feel like with anxiety, at least for me, it fluctuates back and forth. Sometimes it'll be really bad. Sometimes it like won't be bad at all. I barely have it. But on Sunday, I was really anxious to leave my apartment. And so I was like, do you know what? Let me just get past this and leave my apartment. And I'm going to go to a coffee shop and get some work done. Uh, well, coffee shops on the weekends are just really crowded. I pulled up to this coffee shop and the patio was completely full. It didn't even look like there was any seat op seats open for me to do any of my work. And I automatically just got like super, super anxious, like for no reason. Usually when I see crowded places I'm about to enter, like it's kind of anxiety inducing a little bit. Usually I can like push past it and get over it pretty quickly. Um, no, that was not the case on Sunday. I pulled into a parking spot. I just started like sobbing because I was so afraid to leave my car. And I feel like that's the thing with anxiety. Like, you know, to someone that maybe doesn't experience this, they're probably like, you have no reason to be anxious. Like literally just go out of your car, like get out of your car, go order a coffee, find a seat. It sounds kind of silly because there's like no reason to be anxious, but like that's the thing about anxiety is that there's no real threat. It's just really weird for me because anxiety has never been something that's debilitating to my life usually it's something i can push past but it was just really bad and i was like sobbing in my car for like 45 minutes and i was like i'm not gonna go inside like i cannot go inside like i literally was so afraid to leave my car because the patio was crowded i called my mom i talked to her about it and you know finally i pushed past it went on the patio got some work done i got over it um, which was a good thing i'm glad i did that i was literally about to leave but i was like do you know what i drove all the way here why don't i just like face this and get over it and you know my brain will realize that i'm not in danger i just bring this up though because i keep hearing about people talking about how anxious they are like anna chamberlain talked about it on her podcast i got a notification from a vlog somebody uploaded about how they were feeling anxious um james charles said he was anxious on twitter and then somebody in my last video a couple comments were talking about how they were anxious too and they think something's in the air i don't know what's going on maybe it's something with the stars Whatever it may be, um, I would firmly like to ask whoever is doing this to please stop. 
Whoever has my voodoo doll, stop it. I've had enough. <laughs> That's my um, collective checkup. Let me know what you think if you've been experiencing pretty bad anxiety recently as well. It's also cool to hear from other people too because it makes you feel less alone and it like helps you remember that in some way we're all kind of connected. Thank you guys for listening. If you're listening, I'll catch you later or won't. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see. today after my little meltdown uh went to bed i hung out with my friend a little bit that helped and then today i had a hair appointment at 12 so yeah it is now 3 30 i'm done with that here's my hair i got a little blonder still want to go more blonde i'm very tempted to go back to my color that i had in like high school the plan for the rest of the day is I'm eating this burrito. I'm going to clean up my apartment because um, when you're sad, you don't have energy to clean anything. After that's clean, I'm going back down to my hometown. Kanye West is coming to my mom's neighborhood. So I'm just as confused as you are. Um, I heard the news from my mom and so I was like, do you know what? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, I must go. I think basically what the thing is, is he's filming a music video in my mom's neighborhood. Um, so like the ongoers or just the people in the neighborhood can like watch him film it Although Kanye West's existence bothers me and I actually have him muted on Twitter because he pisses me off so much Um, I still want to see him because you know, why not? Anyways, that's the plan Um, uh, I need to pack my stuff to pack a little bag to go back down home Okay, this is my apartment. I need to clean it. Let's do that Get a, a tall pumpkin cream cold brew. A tall pumpkin cream cold brew. That sounds good to me. Can I switch that out for cinnamon dolce syrup? Oh, that sounds really good. Okay. Yeah, that's it though. That's it. Come on down. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, why was that guy so nice? I'm about to try this. I'm also about to go on the interstate, so we're gonna try it in five seconds, ready? Absolutely delicious. That's my review. Who's Lala? How do you know these people? Our best friend Lala. Come on, guys. Keep up. Yeah, that's same. And then there's an older one, North. So purely coincidental literally don't know how this happened, but it was it was incredible like literally I had goosebumps the entire time I like it was so good. You see my tears. I love that. So hope you enjoyed that That kind of added a little spice to my vlog super random, but like really cool I however, I'm going to sign it off here if you're watching till this point Please let me know if you like these vlogs. I will totally keep doing them. I do like filming them I just feel like people that watch my channel don't like watching them um because like they get like one view but you know it's fine yeah let me know thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it hope you had a good time i hope everybody does well we're all staying mentally sane mentally stable even though that's kind of a lot to ask in times like these but you know we're trying we're in this together i love you guys so much and i will see you in my video next week bye i will drive up and down the